Welcome back to the Arise interview, where we speak to the newsmakers as well as ordinary people doing extraordinary things around the world and featuring the voices at the heart of the stories. I'm Charles Anya Goldu. Now, my second guest today, Victoria Neronskaya, is slowly but steadily becoming popular in Nigeria's Nollywood showbiz circles. She's gradually carving out a career for herself as an actress in Nigeria's movie industry. She's landed a number of roles already and appears to be relishing the chance of working in the film business in this country. She certainly is a long way from home, born in Russia to parents from Kazakhstan. She came to Nigeria as a teacher before making the transition to Nollywood. Can you believe it? Just in January. Ever since, she's been building a following on social media. And she, as well as her fans, believe she could be on the cusp of making it big in Nollywood. Well, in a moment, I'll be joined in the studio by Victoria Neronskaya. But first, here she is performing in a recent Nollywood skit. You know, it's, it's been hectic for me since yesterday, since uh, I arrived to this country. You know, first I've arrived, but my luggage did not. Then uh, second, I tried to uh, book a pretty nice hotel and I was boom, I was robbed. Phone gone, money gone. Yeah. You know, you see, uh, I came to Nigeria looking for my Nigerian husband. He left like and he promised to come back, but it's been five years and he hasn't been back yet. So I came here looking for him. Okay. Sorry. Yo. Sorry. Um, so if I must reply you, I will have to reply what I understand. So um, if I must advise you, I will say you should just go back to where you are coming from. I think that's that's the best thing to do. Oh, absolutely, but that's when my luggage arrives, you know. Uh, I have something like $15,000 in my luggage, and uh, that should at least, uh, you know, take me home and uh, help me pay for the hotel, the hotel debt I incurred, but that's when I get my luggage. Uh, sorry. Uh, yeah. You said you have fifteen thousand dollars. Yeah, even more in my luggage, uh, which have been lost in transit. Though the airline is uh, promises that I'll get it back. Hey, you don't have problem, eh? You don't have problem. See, oh. you can stay here till our luggage. Uh, sorry, I mean till your luggage comes, eh? You can just stay here. You mean here? Ah, this one. Don't look at it like that to see if you know the the kind of caliber of people high caliber of people that have stayed there just to maintain low profile you know that you are just <laughs> did i tell you my name is callistus oh. nice meeting you callistus <laughs> uh, my name is ivanka ivanka ah yeah. you are welcome to callistus hideout eh? thank you thank you <laughs> i really do appreciate and my luggage arrives you know I'll pay you well. I'll, I'll pay you well for your kindness. Thank you for helping. <laughs> no problem. Thank you. I'm Well, that looks uh, jolly interesting, doesn't it? And Victoria Neronskaya, who you saw in that skit, joins me now in the studio. Thank you very much indeed for coming in. Well, what does it feel like? I mean, sitting there and, and watching yourself getting gradually, you know, slowly but surely celebrated in skits like that. Uh, hello, Charles. Uh, you know, thank you for complimenting me, <laughs> I would say. Uh, it feels like a bit strange. Mm. I'm not used to it. You know, it just, all those things, they just happened. Like... You woke up one morning and there was Nollywood. Yeah, exactly. You know, uh, how it actually happened from the very beginning. Some friend of mine who is trying to get into the industry since, I don't know, for at least for the last six years. And he's still, you know, trying to play the role of a hanger. 
<laughs> so the scarecrow uh, in the movie yeah. right? that doesn't so talk and doesn't do anything once you know he was on the cast and he just asked me to come and pick him um, he wanted to give me something or whatever and when i went there there was a producer called victor chude he's like wait 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 are you an actress i'm like no <laughs> do you mind to act i'm like okay so that was the first thing it was some epic movie with uh, zach orgy and uh, julian happy then the next thing i uh, was at the party and there was uncle sam so uncle sam also came to me started talking then he invited me to play in his movie then the next thing is somebody recommended me somebody saw me mm. so now you know people just call me and invite and me and there you are and here I am and of course I, I i ended up seeing your the premiere of yeah. your film crackheads uh, and and it was purely by coincidence I, I won't mention who sort of dragged me to it but yeah. somebody said hey let's Our go see this movie friend, yeah yeah, yeah. And uh, and there it, that that's the the poster there on on, on the screen and, and I ended up watching it and and I thought how I interesting but but where do you come from originally because you were born in Russia yeah. but your parents are from Kazakhstan so which country do you identify with? Well, actually, you know, when I was born, it was one country called Soviet Union. Yes, yes, of course, yes. So massive country. Massive country of 15 republics. Mm. So uh, my parents, yes, were originally from Kazakhstan, but uh, then it just happened that my grandma lived in Russia. Mm. So they went there, they gave me a birth. We lived there for like, I think, three years or so then we move back and you know so like you move back to kazakhstan yeah back to kazakhstan then for some time again we moved to russia so then when the kazakhstan is a landlocked country isn't it it's completely surrounded by yes. other countries yes, uh, it yes, borders yes. china it borders russia it, it borders uh, kyrgyzstan, kyrgyzstan uzbekistan, uzbekistan. Yes. yeah that's yeah. quite quite interesting so so you went back to um Kazakhstan. Yeah, so when Soviet Union collapsed, mm. I wasn't in I was in Kazakhstan, so I believe this is where I used to be. Well you speak no fluent English though. Reasonably fluent. Oh. <laughs> mm. I don't mean to be rude or anything, but how did you end up in Nigeria? Well, uh, I was a teacher at that time, mm -hmm. and uh, back home I work for some English kindergarten. That's in Kazakhstan in or Kazakhstan, Russia? Kazakhstan, right, in okay. Kazakhstan. Then one day I decided that I need to work somewhere else in some other country. I started uh, looking online. I found one agency in the UK who helps teachers from all over the world mm. to find jobs abroad. I passed the interview, they asked me to choose from their database. I looked at them, I decided I want to go to Nigeria. So they you closed your eyes and you went, uh, that one. <laughs> there were like uh, three or four vacancies mm. and I don't know why that somehow I decided Nigeria might be good enough for me. So they recommended me to a school, one British school in Nigeria, mm. and I passed the interview and they invited me. And how long ago was this? Six years back. Right. So you've been in Nigeria ever since? Yes. And, and where was the first, were you living in Abuja or, or did you go somewhere else? No, I came to Abuja. Right. I so travel up and down around Nigeria, but I stay in Abuja. Right. So you're teaching appointment was in Abuja. Yes, it was. Right, okay. Um, so, so why Nollywood? I mean, presumably you have no problems blending into different cultures. I mean, obviously you came to Nigeria, it's a different culture. It was easy. Yeah. As I said, you know, it just happened. And now when uh, people ask me to act, mm. I think is the easiest thing for me to do. But was it difficult at first? No, it wasn't. I mean, it's having to perform in front of a camera, no. uh, especially movies, because movies is all about camera angles. You, yeah. you see what I mean? So you kind of, you got to get used to it. I mean. No, I wouldn't say so. You know, I've never been afraid of camera mm. because before I started teaching, I used to do uh, 
public relation, business development. Mm. Uh, I used to participate in different conferences, uh, doing also um, interpretation translations. Mm. So I had that experience of public speaking. So you know, if you do public speaking on camera, right. you're you never afraid of camera. Yes. So you weren't, uh, but, but, but was it, I mean, what was it like working in Nollywood? I mean, d do you feel challenged working there? Because Nollywood has its own unique characteristics. Yes. Let's put it uh, that way. I, mean, I would say that it was a bit challenging. How, how, how was it challenging? It's challenging in a way like, you know, everything is fast. Mm, yeah, that's true. They don't really give you that much time to, to read the screen, right. to raise. <laughs> you just, okay. That's your script. Okay, what are my lines? So okay, do you have boom, to boom, improvise boom, boom, boom. a lot then? Like you kind of look at the script, but you don't remember the words, but you, you get the sense that you're supposed to be uh, communicating. Not that much. You still right. have to follow the script. Right. And so that must uh, be quite a challenge then. Uh, I have a good memory. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I don't. I don't remember anything. I, well, no, I kidding. always had a good memory, so I think that helps me, yes. Right. But sometimes, yes, you have to improvise. Mm. Now, so there's this uh, young English lady who, who's become quite prominent in, in Nigeria, in Nollywood. Um, Miss Edun's her name. I think she's married to a Nigerian. And one of the reasons she's gained prominence in this country, she's English, uh, mm -hmm. I think from Winchester or something in the south of England, uh, is because of her command of pidgin English. She's absolutely brilliant at pidgin. Um, you want to ask me if I speak Well, pigeon? I was going to ask you, did you have to learn pigeon or be able, well, to, to, be able to sort of get along or it wasn't necessary for you? Uh, it be? was necessary. You know, my uh, houseboy speaks only pigeon. Right. When you go to the market, hey, waladi. <laughs> yeah. So, so somehow you have to learn, you've got to pick you it up, to basically. pick it, right. yes, because sometimes it's the only way to communicate. Mm. So have you done pretty well in that direction, do you think? Yeah. I think so. Right. Okay. Yeah. So, did you have ambitions ever to be a movie star or did this, I mean, you mentioned that this happened by accident, but I'm just wondering, looking back at your life, did you I, ever want I to be I understand what you mean. Yeah. Well, when I was in secondary school, I thought a bit of, of it. I would mm. say, you know, I did some stage performance and, but then I was like, I'm not sure it's too serious. Maybe, you know, I should just go to the university, get a degree, mm. do business, you know. <laughs> so somehow I, I switched to something that we could say more serious. Mm. <laughs> yeah, so something that you, is more guaranteed. I more guess. guaranteed, yes. Right. But, but do you see yourself doing this now? I mean, has, has the time you've spent in Nollywood given you enough confidence to say, hey, I, I could look at this it. as a potential career. Uh, yeah, in some way, you know, for me, it's uh, at first I would say for me, it's not really do or die, mm. but I enjoy doing it. And um, I can say like what people believe in Nigeria, and maybe now it's God's will. Mm. You know, maybe he saw me how many years back trying to do it. Then he said, hey, madam, now it's time for you to do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, stay with us. We want to talk with you some more. You're watching the Arise interview. Plenty more still ahead as we continue our chat with the Russian Kazakhstan Nollywood actress Victoria Neronskaya. Stay with us. Welcome back to the Arise interview. I'm Charles Anyagulu. Now, Nollywood, Nigeria's plucky movie industry, appears to have captured a new one in the actress Victoria Neronskaya from Russia and also from Kazakhstan. She's Nollywood's newest rising star, born in Russia originally, as I said, from Kazakhstan, arriving these shores as a teacher, but now installed in Nigerian cinema and carving out a career for herself. She was a teacher, then became something of a marketer for television before she evolved into an actress. One of her recent movies, which premiered about a month ago in Abuja, is called Crackheads. And I went to that premiere, which is how I got to know who she is. And the Russian Nollywood actress, Victoria 
Neronskaya is still with me in the studio. Well, we're supposed to have a salt there. Okay. Thank you for staying with us. Um, you, you were talking earlier about the fact that you've traveled around Nigeria. Yes. Um, where have you been? I mean, what other places have you been? And what been impressions did you take away? Lagos, Abiakuta, Oweri, <coughs> Kaduna. I think that's about it. That, so that's in a, that a six-year period. I yes. mean, during the six years that you've been here. Yes. Um, and do you find that you are well accepted in Nigeria or do you experience any negativity at all in this country? Uh, no, I wouldn't say that. I, exp uh, I feel any negativity. Nigerians are lovely people, mm, they are. very friendly. <clears throat> yes, of course, you know, in every nation we have good and bad people. So, yeah, of course, sometimes you can meet people who are a bit aggressive or somebody who is 419, but <laughs> I wouldn't well, say... Well, that, that skit you were in, you ended up being the 419 person, weren't I'm you? I'm sorry, <laughs> when my luggage <laughs> arrives. <laughs> <laughs> the skit that we, that we played sort of at the outset, it, it was you, which was, I mean, that's what made it so interesting because these guys were thinking, here we are, we're going we're gonna to feast on, you know, her money. And then she ended up being the one feasting on their money <laughs> yeah that, that was a good um a good turn um but but what movie are, are you working on right now i mean or, or what's your latest production if oh, you're not okay working so on uh let me just tell you about all of them yeah. uh as i said uh the first one was with victor judy it was epic mm. then it was one with uncle sam then you saw one with nollywood jagaban Mm. which is the crackheads and still with Jagaban we are working on some series which uh, called the consular it's like you know short skits where we discuss um, the, the questions relating to sexual life you know when the young couple comes to mm. the consul asking like different questions sure. and you have to consult yeah. them so, so you, you're the counselor. Oh, yeah, of course, right. definitely. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I think um, that is the uh, latest, but definitely with uh, Magic Makers, which is mm. Nollywood Jagaban, we have many, 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 many more ideas and uh, scripts we want to shoot. Yeah. So, so I mean, are, are you making any money out of Nollywood? Uh, That's a question a lot of people <laughs> want to know. They want to have an idea. Um, or are you just, um, is, it, is it purely art for you, not business? Be because, I mean, Nollywood's budgets are pretty modest, aren't they? Yeah, it is. It is modest. So, uh, you know, even for the crackheads, I was an executive producer. Mm. So <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't make any money. I actually spent my own money. As uh, for the other ones, um, it's just more money, you know, just to cover my fuel sure. and just like this. So, no. So you, you do it for the art and for yeah, the love of the art. Definitely, definitely. Um, so, so how many films have you starred so far in Nollywood now? I mean, you, you said you only started in January. Yes, yes. So by now, I think it's like five. That's about eight months ago, basically. Yeah. So it's like, well, seven months because, you know, we're, yeah. we're just uh, heading in Yeah, we're just in, in, in August, right. So, and uh, it's like five movies by now. And I think it will be a few more by the end of this year. Mm. But obviously you're doing other things too. I yeah, mean, you're, you're doing course. work, you know, yeah. that, that's the way that you kind of, you know. Yes, I'm a managing director of Dumout Nigeria Limited. Um, <coughs> the company who does education, training, uh, some uh, educational materials mm. like, I also, you know, write books and I draw. Okay. Like, you know, this That's is one of my recent books. Right. And it's all focused on Nigeria, is it? Yeah, definitely. Definitely, you know. So. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. All, it's I, all, I like all my drawing. It's right. all my drawings. I like so the I illustrations. So. Yeah. Well, that, that's very good. Mm. I mean, the illustrations, are, they look impressive. Yeah. Then oh, I also have a registered trademark, which is called my Niger doll. 
Right. And uh, you know how I came to that one? When I was a teacher, I found out that when we work mm. about something like uh, attire, culture, or whatever, we are lacking materials. Mm. And uh, if we look online, then even if we find a black doll or girl or whatever, usually the attire will be what, you, what we call oibo. Yes, Western clothing. Yes. Right. So what I did, I actually drew some Nigerian clothes, like. So you use this for for your the education. I mean, yes. the, the work that you do in yes. education. Yes. So see, right. like for example, you can cut it out and place it on the doll, and right. uh, we're about to uh, publish. Let me find something. Right. Like it, well, I mean, we, we've seen yeah, a, a little bit of that, uh, and uh, I mean, uh, so basically your, your teaching work predominates in your life does it I mean the work that you do in education in Nigeria uh, I don't do like pure education now like right. I mean I'm not in class right uh, it's more like as I said we're working on materials sure. like even for this for teaching project, aids and teaching, teaching materials aids, and so teaching on, right. materials trainings and we're right. working on actually some animation related to uh, this uh, project right. I have an animator working for me so soon you will see first Nigerian animation show right so. Okay, well, there have been other uh, Nigerian animation films, but yours is probably one that my has to do with education. Does it? My is uh, about uh, this Nigerian clothes. Okay, so, right. you know, it's more like Nigerian models, uh, okay, you know, you all mean. those yes. things. And um, when you started teaching in Nigeria, what grade were you teaching? Were there elementary school children? Nursery. Or? It was nursery. nursery. Okay, nursery. right. Okay. And... Um, you, you've been in Nollywood now for going on eight months. Um, of all the movies you, you starred in, um, which do you, did you enjoy making the most and why? I love The Crackheads. That's the more recent one. Yeah, the one where, you know, you watched. Yeah. Uh, so, and uh, maybe because, you know, I s in some way I feel it's, it's my baby as well mm. you know I'm an executive producer then uh, if you ask me what is the funniest one mm. definitely it will be the last one that Yavas kids yes this is the funniest one definitely yeah so and so I thought your performance in that yeah. one was was quite good I thank mean it, it really was um, something but I mean I, I want to thank you very much indeed uh, Victoria for coming in thank you Charles and uh, we wish you all the very best and hopefully we will see more of your movies and you know more of your skits and so on thank as you, you um, as you become more popular in Nollywood and of course uh, Victoria Nirinskaya is a Russian who is from Kazakhstan as well and she has made her entry into Nigeria's Nollywood movie industry. That's it for this edition of the Arise interview. Join us again tomorrow from me and the entire team here in Abuja. Bye-bye and thank you for watching.